CCV in transport. The gradient CCV can be used for inter- and intra-hospital transport of critically ill patients. It is designed to be lightweight and portable to optimize the delivery of mechanical ventilation in these settings. This video will review how to prepare the CCV for transport. To remove the CCV from the workstation, slightly loosen the two plastic stabilization screws, but do not remove them completely. Then, simply pull the quick release pin and lift up on the handle. The bed hooks can be rotated outward to enable attachment to the rails of a patient bed. If needed, the shoulder strap can be used for easy transport by hospital or ambulance staff. To reattach the CCV to the workstation, pull back the quick release pin and lower the CCV onto the stand so that the two alignment knobs slide into the slots on the stand. Make sure that the bottom of the CCV stand mount plate is resting securely on the stand. Tighten the plastic stabilization screws, if needed, to prevent the CCV from wobbling during use. Remember, you will not have the CCV workstation during transport, so there are a few key differences in setup and use that are worth reviewing. Let's start with the oxygen source. To use an emergency cylinder with a flow meter, connect it directly to the silver bulb on the left panel labeled Low Flow O2. Since this is a low flow source, it is necessary to put the CCV in O2 conserve mode to avoid triggering the low O2 source alarm. When using the CCV in ambulances with a high pressure oxygen source, Follow the same process as you would for connecting an oxygen cylinder or pipeline using the medical O2 port on the left panel. If no oxygen source is available, the CCV can continue to ventilate the patient using only room air, but will be unable to provide an FiO2 higher than 21%. Now, let's review the battery backup potential. When used during transport, the CCV is typically not connected to mains power, so it will operate on battery backup. When fully charged, the internal battery can provide up to seven hours of battery life. The external battery adds an additional 14 hours of battery backup if fully charged. Keep in mind that the CCV will draw power from the external battery when it is connected. If the external battery is depleted, the CCV will not automatically switch to the internal battery. Be mindful of this when planning power needs before and during transport. Ensure both batteries remain fully charged to account for transport needs or unexpected power loss. If AC power is available in a transport vehicle, connect the CCV as you would to mains power. Keep the external battery nearby and charging in case of unexpected power loss. While some vehicles may provide DC power, the CCV will only recognize its accompanying external battery as a DC power source. Finally, always use HMEs to provide humidity and bacterial filtering when transporting patients. It is important to note that the active humidifier included in the CCV workstation should not be used during transport. So, when transitioning from stationary use to transport, be sure to remove the water trap from the breathing circuit and connect the breathing limb directly to the CCV.